It's an emergency. Somebody there? Who's there? I have a man in dire need of a healer. Shh. She's asleep. Will she be awake soon? It's an emergency. Always an emergency. Like the time that young woman needed a potion to induce labor. And the guy who needed a salve for his hernia and... What else was there? Please wake her up. A man's life is in danger. It better be. If I find out he just has a hangover, I'll wake her up. But you'll still have to wait. I haven't seen you before. How'd you know where to find us? From the peacekeepers. Then you've come to the wrong healer. Get out. Haven't you all made her suffer enough? And now those renegades. They'd been a ceasefire for years. They left us alone. And then, all of a sudden, they went mad. Where were you when they were taking over the island? For the first time, we really needed you. And what? You didn't come. And they're gone. I just took care of them. I don't believe you. You're lying. Just to get what you want. Like all peacekeepers. Do we have a visitor, Gerard? I'll be there in a moment. It's a peacekeeper! Well, I'm not a peacekeeper. I'm only trying to help one. All the same to me. Let him in, Gerard. I'm just a messenger. A doctor sent me. His name's Stephen. Doctors shun folk healers these days. Using a folk remedy would harm his reputation. It already has. He sent me to you against the wishes of the man's family. Gerard? Yes? You said there was a man. He saved us from the renegades. Is this the man? What's your name, boy? Aiden. So... You are the one who saved us. We owe you a great debt. And who is the dying man? His name's Ader. He's a high-ranking officer. Margaret, don't. If something goes wrong, you'll be blamed again. But if this goes well, perhaps it's a chance to help more people. Blamed again? What do you mean? The last peacekeeper to ask me for help blamed me for his own incompetence. Gave his wounded soldiers the wrong herb. Despite my clear instructions. And several died. Blamed it all on me. I'm only still alive because Jack Matt deigned to be merciful. Decided it was a tragic accident. He spared my life. But took my eyes. Does this mean you'll help me? I'm out of the herbs you need, but I can tell you where to find them. You'll be looking for a flower called the Recluse. It thrives in soil soaked in toxic sludge. You will be able to pick it up safely only at night, when its petals glow. But it's not enough to simply pick it willy-nilly. Only the small petals have the healing qualities. Beware of the big ones. They contain deadly poison. Can you remember that? Small petals heal, big ones poison. I'll remember. We'll regret this, I assure you. Hey, Luan, I need your help. Sure you do. What's up? I'm looking for an herb. It's called the recluse. Oh, yeah. I'm familiar with it. Yeah. I think those funny flowers grow by the canal, north of All Saints Bridge. That's where I'd look. It's a lead. And actually, I'd wait until night. Oh, uh, thanks. Ciao.
Chances against Brady. <laughs> Can I ask for a favor? said, if it hurts, that's good. You can keep that kind of thought here. 
How's the patient? He's starting to wake up. Thank you for your help. You can go. Wait! What's going on here? You went to the witch, didn't you? To this... Margaret! A witch? Never met any witches. There's no such thing as witches. That's superstition. Superstition? Witchcraft is a crime! Please, just calm down. What's happening? We're losing him. Aiden, give me those herbs. I forbid it! Keep that witch's poison away from him! I can him. give him an injection to stabilize him. But it won't last long. Did you tell her who the medicine was for? She killed his men! She should have hanged for that, but Jack Mack had ate or burn her eyes out instead! What? Did you tell her? She'll have given you poison, I guarantee it! Aiden, give me the herbs, damn it! It appears the medicine is as effective as I'd hoped. He needs his rest. We should all leave him be. I... I won't be far. It looks like you had Margaret pegged. She didn't want to poison him after all. Yes, seems that way. And what'll happen to him now? If all goes well, he should start to wake up soon. And then we'll find out who did this to him. All thanks to you. Juan would rather enjoy his caviar than take care of that man. Aiden. Matt? What's up? I wanted to officially thank you. Aiden's back on his feet. If it wasn't for you, he'd still be in a coma. Or worse. I'm glad he's better. Me too. Only he knows what happened in old Philidor. <coughs> Aiden, don't... Know what this is? These brass knuckles belonged first to Commander Lucas. Then, they passed on to Ator. What happened in old Villador? It can't happen again. We have to save the city, Aiden. From the plague from the Butcher and his men, whatever they're planning. Okay, but over the radio, you said you have information for me. Yes, but before we get down to that, tell me, Aiden, what do you need this database for? What does it contain? I'm looking for my sister. What happened to her? A long time ago, Waltz hurt her. He took her from me, and I want him to tell me where she is. If she's still alive somewhere, or... That's why I was looking for the GRE command center. To access Waltz's database on its servers. So we have a common enemy. Meaning? Waltz. That's the Butcher's right-hand man. He pumps his men full of inhibitors. We can get them both. I brought you here because I know that a few GRE scientists are hiding out in the city. We picked up the trail of one of them, right before the Renegade attack. Sounds promising. When I find a scientist, we'll see what they know. If they are of no use, we'll find another, and another, until you get the answers you're looking for. Why are the former GRE in hiding? They're afraid of the wrath of the people. People angry because the GRE spread the infection. So it's true. The GRE brought in the virus. Who else? They say they performed experiments in their bases. They brought in containers from Haran, at night, in secret from the government. And then everything collapsed. In revenge, people captured the scientists and hanged them from lampposts. And killed the only people who had a chance of finding a cure. There is no cure and there never will be, Aiden. That's GRE propaganda. Fine. What do you want in return? What do you think I want? Maybe the same thing both of us want? 
The city has electricity again. The renegades are on the attack. For the first time since the war ended, they attacked our outposts in the city centre. But new possibilities have opened up for us as well. Thanks to the electricity, we can fire up the biggest antenna in the centre, on the VNC Tower Spire. What, you want to defeat the Butcher using radio? In a way. The signal will let me reach a larger number of people. Communication between settlements will be improved. We'll enlist more recruits and defend the city. And then it will be easier to find the surviving GRE doctors you need. I'll do my part. But what guarantee do I have that you'll help me after? You don't trust me, Aiden. I haven't been here that long, but I can already tell that kept promises are rare in this city. If we don't find any of the GRE scientists, I promise I'll get walls for you. You're working with Loan, which makes me think you're looking for him too. Okay, I'm in. Good. The Butcher attacked for a reason. I want to make sure this city is safe, no matter what. <coughs> you all right, sir? Maya will share our plan with you. Go see her as soon as you can. Oh, and Aiden. You don't have to call me sir. To friends, I'm Jack. Okay. Jack. Aiden, what do you want, son? Nothing. I think I know everything I need. Good luck, then. Until today, I thought our chances against Renegades were pretty good. But now... This zone is secured by peacekeepers. One, now get him. You heard about what happened at the bazaar? Chaos and mayhem. This is what comes of lawlessness.
Give me some. Hey, so there's this thing.
Here, have a beer with me. It's warm. I'm dying to hear what the other one is. What do you think? The sweet, sweet thrill of gambling, obviously. Oh, yeah? What's your game? Now it's just boring cards. When the boss is not looking. Used to be much more crazy when the night runners were around. See that group of buildings there? They had a parkour course between them. There was this cheeky guy named... Wait. Hassan? Pakan? Anyway, he used it to test recruits for their skills with the grappling hook. Gave them some wicked shit with it. Let me guess, you and the guys placed bets on who's going to fall on his ass first. <laughs> exactly! <laughs> well, well, well. You do know how to have fun. I like you. Hey, tell you what. Why don't we bring the excitement back? <laughs> how do you mean? Believe it or not, some of these recruits actually finished the course. And a few even demonstrated mad skills. How about you test yourself and see if you can beat their time? And I, well, I could take bets from the guys again. Win-win, eh? Hey, fellas, get your purses ready. We may have action here. If you feel up to it, just punch the bell. It's a bit dusty, as you can see. One day they might just blow up a dam and flood the entire city. That is beautiful. What song is that? Oh, a very old one. Where I come from, the women sing, so their men return home from sea safely. So, you were singing to someone in particular? To my betrothed. Though he will never return again. He died during the bombing of the city. I, uh, I'm sorry. Eleven years have passed and I still think of him. I feel like someone has cursed me. Even the fact that I am here today. That's because of him. How's that? He won't laugh. No. Before the evacuation, I hid a few mementos in a safe at my office. I thought, if I could get them back, all those old thoughts would stop tormenting me. Mementos of him? Yes, letters. They're very personal. Alas, that office building is a complete ruin now. I would have to learn to fly to get in there. Well, I can help you. You could do that. It's that office building over there. Right, in the safe? In my office. Upstairs in the personnel department. Turn the dial twice to the right, once to the left, once to the right. Got that? Can you repeat that? Twice to the right, once to the left, once to the right. Will you remember? I'll remember. It is nice of you to help me. But I don't even know who you are. No, my name's Aiden. And I'm Charlotte. Thank you, Aiden. Nah, it's nothing. Wait here for me. Ugh! <sighs> 
This isn't the right department. <laughs> Alrighty then. What was the code? Twice to the right. to the left. Once to the right. Yeah, it worked. Found the safe. Here. These are all of them. You're certain? All the ones from the safe. They're beautiful. The jackass knew how to write. Too bad he didn't only write them to me. You know what he said right before he died? That he loved another woman and regretted she wasn't there beside him. I'll never forgive him for that. What are you doing? Freeing myself from him. Eleven years I've tried to do this. But failed. I've wanted so badly to erase him from my memory, but I keep thinking of these damned letters. The only proof that anything ever bound us. Now he's gone. Without a trace. I... I don't know what to say. Hey! Why the long face? Lighten up, Aiden. You really helped me. I feel like someone has lifted my curse. There were some valuables in the safe, too. Take them if you want. Are you sure? I'm done living in the past. Farewell, Charlotte. Take care. Farewell, Aiden.
How you doing, Aiden? 